Hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. Welcome back to our playthrough of Life is Strange. This is episode number three. Just launched. I played about a half hour of it last night. Had to wait till after work today to go ahead and finish this up. So we're going to go ahead and be trying to finish up episode number three. Probably be two more parts depending on how long it goes. So we're going to go ahead and continue where we left off last night. If you remember, uh, I met up with Chloe after sneaking past the principal at night. Uh... And uh, we had come across Victoria basically trying to sex up the photography uh, professor. And he was, uh, she was trying to sex him up to uh, have her win the photo contest. Uh, it was all like trying to say, uh, you know, don't even worry about Max because she's not even going to turn in a picture. Uh, just go ahead and declare me the winner and, you know, you can be happy and we can have discreet fun. Is kind of what she said to him. So we're going to go ahead and be finding out what happens with that. Uh, it was pretty funny, actually. It was pretty crazy. So it looked like we were going to go ahead. Uh, Chloe had the keys. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. Huh. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, yeah, so they're in the school now. It? They get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. So if we get caught, I can just rewind it, huh? Wow. Chloe's a rebel. I'm telling you that right now. I don't see anything to look at yet. Come on, Chloe. I gotta speak to her. All right. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Ooh. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lock picking, thanks to Frank. Huh. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. That guy they met up at the, the junkyard taught Just her how to lockpick. Why, yes, I could. Search. Here we go. Nothing here. A water bottle. Drink it. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. Betty, here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Nothing to see here. So it, leaving my fingerprints everywhere. I'm sure it won't matter. But a hunting Only a rack. Total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Boring. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. I guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh. Huh? No. I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. 
We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. Oh, she's gonna go ape with... This sucks ass! Goddamn door! Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Well, let's hope that this list of uh, stuff to get in that door pays off because she already said that she's gonna go ape with Warren on their date. I wonder what that means. All right. Keyword is try. All right, sodium chlor. I need sugar, sodium chlor, chloride. Uh, what the hell? I need a lighter. Oh boy. Okay. Where am I gonna find all this crap at? I thought I already read this yesterday, or in the last part. I need to find sugar, a soda can, duct tape, and sodium chlorate. Okay. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, and sodium chlorate. That shouldn't be too hard. Let's go look in the cafeteria in the science lab, Ryan shall we? Is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Alright, where's the cafeteria at? In here? No, I don't want to look at the damn poster again. Uh, trash can, search, soda Nothing can. In it. You're not a soda can in the trash? Are you serious? Uh, hmm. How about this trash can? Just emptied. Nothing here. Well, poop. How about I buy a soda? Release the crack can. Okay. It's all mine anyway. So I got my soda can. Only three more items to go. Uh. What did she say? It's sugar. Okay. Sugar, duct tape, and sodium chlorate. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Alright, not worried about that right now. The science room, maybe? Yes, we ought to be able to find some sodium chlorate in here. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. We killer. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Okay, take it. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Fine, use the chair. Okay, got my sodium chlorate. You need can oh, I already got cans. Now I need sugar. There would probably wouldn't be no sugar in here, huh? Ah, sugar! There we go. Excellent. Ooh, sugar. Did I see some duct tape too? No, Only that's one more ingredient left. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Huh. Okay. I need duct tape. 
Graffiti. Let's look at that. I never said they were great, troll. Max takes shitty selfies. Aquarium, look. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Taking a picture of an aquarium. Okay. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. All right, I'm glad I got that, but what I need is duct tape there, Max. Hmm. If I was duct tape, where would I be? One of these drawers, maybe? Probably in some different room altogether. Well, poop. I don't see nothing in here anywhere. I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week. Okay, that's up here somewhere, ain't it? Ain't our class over here? Yeah. This is like a scene in a horror film. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Ooh, should I look here? Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. Huh. Okay. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. All right, good, good. I don't care about all that, though. There's some duct tape. Hell yeah. The tape is mine. I probably should find those items now. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Well, let's go. Run! Something's gonna happen, I don't know what. Am I gonna get caught? Freaking principal or somebody comes in here? It's right around the corner here, I think. Hey, Chloe, here we go. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. Alrighty. <laughs> Boom! That awesome. Was so fucking cool. Warren, you're my hero. Oh, we are toast. Uh oh. The whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, uh oh. So what should we do? What should we do? We should find what we need to find in here. Hurry up. What am I looking for? I don't see nothing to look at. Crap. What am I looking for? Okay, rewind this crap. All right. Can't do nothing there. I don't see nothing to look. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. Huh. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. Because <laughs> I, I rewound it, okay. Want and beat it. 
My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. So I rewound it all the way to before I blew up the door handle. How can you trust somebody you know, who has a fucking room. bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. All right. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair? <laughs> Still not really sure this how I rewound on time and had that all work out. Shit, but... Sherlock, find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody, I'm on the case. All right, now maybe it'll look. Maybe let me look for crap. Let's turn this on. Now can I look at this? This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Update at present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex t club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during a party. See the attached files for complete details. Okay. I already read that. Okay. Oh, okay, I didn't read all this, though. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students of Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently GPA 3.9. Good God. Uh, outstanding, along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities uh, with Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KB7 News. An adverse religious studies group has been welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs of Blackwell. Principal Wells, as a school nurse... I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or psych, psych, physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from the other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne Marie Marinci. All right. So, Only that's a folder about Kate. Two more files to go. Okay. So I collected that one. Yeah, I'm not sure how I placed the bomb on the I door and then I rewound time. Can't use this. And had the bomb disappear but wound up inside the, the office here. Uh, that didn't make a whole lot I of sense. I certainly can't use this. Okay. Searching here. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there we there's go. There's not much here about the police investigation. Fortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with the students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. GPA 4.0. Wow. Quiz essential student representation for Blackwell. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse, go her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There's no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for, the, hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We're always, we'll always keep our eyes and ears open. That's all we can do for now. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Chloe's file? GPA 1.7. Chloe Price is a problematic uh, student at Blackwell despite our best efforts and the faculty administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully 
belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class dis disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray-painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on, on empty rebellion against the non-mandatory institution. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. All right. Very well. Good, Chloe. All right. Back. So I'm sure I'll take those folders. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. So now I'm looking for one on Nathan. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. From Sean Prescott to Raymond Wells. Principal Wells has come to my attention. The Prescott family crest has been removed from the library wall for no apparent reason. This local historical crest is required as per the donation terms to the library. Or the donation will be rescinded, along among others, for the school. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. All right. Craziness. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, turns its sad, unpleasant, regrettable duty, crossed out, uh, to inform you that your petition to block the new surveillance system has come up literally a handful of votes short. It's not my policy to take sides in these matters. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their own school's operation. I recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and rest assured they will be implemented with the utmost concern for privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their own voices heard. I hope they will not be too discouraged by the outcome of your petition. We are proud of them. So a new for late surveillance system uh, come up a handful of votes short. Alrighty. You're not so tacky up close. Alrighty. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Huh. <laughs> Hidden bottle of whiskey, huh? And nothing here. Alright, where do you want me to look, damn game? Didn't I already look here? Weird. This oh, asshole has a spotless record. Nathan. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including working with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also a popular student and faculty. He stands out as proud representation of Blackwell. Yeah, he sure does. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. Huh. 2.8. That sounds about like me in, in high school. All right, let's see here. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates, and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her students back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and too nosy. <laughs> I wonder why I'm nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. This time, there is an up ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's hero heroism is undisputed. This Hell yeah! Is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. <sighs> Victoria, three point nine. Damn. Uh, Victoria Chase is the gold standard of Blackwell Academy a student with consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. Nice. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. 
Holy crap, look at Warren with a 4.0. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift, of course, of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. All right. We found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Should you? Okay. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Whoa. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. Huh. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Whoa. Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This Whoa. will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Leave the money or steal the money. <laughs> well, you guys should know me by now. Um, as tempting as the money is, $5,000 to get Chloe out of trouble. Um, I'm going to leave the money, but I wouldn't be surprised if Chloe steals it anyway. I'm going to say leave the money. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. <clears throat> I can rewind it. Should I rewind it and steal the money? would have helped Chloe and me. I get to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Ms. Hoda's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 17th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day. Without a proper write-up for his files, Nathan has enormous potential, but is also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon his the severity of his situation. Please see the attached files for reports. Uh, Principal Wells, we received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in the administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic erratic behavior patterns. We're certain this must be a mistake. Otherwise, we fear that we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the expunged disciplinary, uh, expunged disciplinary warning report. So they want him to destroy it. Wow. Okay. 
Okay. Um, Blackwell Incident Report, Nathan Prescott. The following list of reported incidents involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by uh, remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under an expert psychological supervision. Throwing a desk in class, cursing at his English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian and attempted theft of campus. And the principal sees all this and he calls this Nathan Prescott an exemplary student uh, and gets mad at Max for uh, accusing him of holding the gun up to Chloe in the bathroom in episode one. Just nuts. Nathan Prescott scan. Okay. Rachel, Rachel in the wet, Rachel in the dark room, Rachel in the dark room. Wow. Okay. Too bad I can't print this, huh? Email it. Can't do nothing. Okay. Can't delete it, can I? No. All right. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that Mr. David Madsen uh, was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her now. Wow. So Rachel is claiming that principal, who I believe is dating Chloe's mom, of uh, following her. We already seen that that guy was, or the security guy, was uh, harassing Kate. Oh boy, and then we got Nathan, we got a missing, uh, whatever her name is, Rachel. Wow, too much crap going on. Alright, so we didn't steal the money. I'm not going to rewind it and steal the money, sorry people. I know that would make it more exciting probably. But we're going to find out what, what happens if we're good. Like breaking into this office isn't good. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> wow. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, part number two of episode number three. We will be right back uh, with part three of episode three coming up. And well, thank you for watching. Be sure you go ahead and leave your comments down below. Be sure you rate my video. And we'll see you in part three of episode three coming right up tonight.